Welcome to the Priceless Header and QuickJam Information and Learning Session. This session discusses the pre-engineered header and jam system that SCAFCO has developed. This program will last approximately 20 minutes and you are encouraged to participate in the follow-up quiz afterwards. This presentation is brought to you by SCAFCO Engineering and Technical Department. In this session, we will start by discussing the traditional header and jam assemblies in the industry. We will then move on and discuss the different components and products that make up the SCAFCO priceless header and quick jam system. We will also discuss the product nomenclature, dimensional properties, the different product applications, some product selling points, and the certification and testing behind this pre-engineered system. To begin, let us review some of the traditional box and built up header and jam assemblies. In this design, you can see a typical window opening assembly. This assembly includes elements such as king studs or box studs, which go the full height of the wall and make up the jam members, jack studs, which go from the floor and sit underneath the header, a box beam for the header itself, which is composed of two studs and two tracks. Cripple studs, which are located above the header and are used to infill the wall section above the opening. A track section or angle clip for the header to jam connection. And a simple sill, which is composed of a single track section. Many typical variations of this assembly exist and are commonly used, such as back to back jam studs capped with track instead of box members. Configurations that do not have jack studs. Nested headers, which include a track section with a stud nested inside, so that the flanges of the stud are inside and touching the legs of the track. Nested sill assemblies, as well as box beam sill assemblies for exterior loading conditions. And many different attachment methods for the critical header to jam connection. Taking a better look at how these box built up and back to back members are typically connected, you can see there are a variety of methods. Welding may be required for the jam or header assembly, which requires skilled labor, a clear work area, and added time with the need to repaint and properly zinc coat the welded areas. Screwed assemblies are also common and require attachment plates that are spaced along the members or track sections capping the flanges of the studs and tying them together. Here are some examples of boxed and built up headers that have been manufactured on the job site. Some of these headers have issues with their installation, such as web holes being too close to the connection point, as you can see in the upper left picture. You can see many different configurations, including box beam headers, jack and king studs for the jam members, and many variations for the header to jam connection, which is a very critical attachment point. As you can see from these pictures, these assemblies incorporate many components and vary highly in quality and consistency. Now that we have examined traditional framed openings, we will move on and introduce the SCAFCO priceless header and quick jam system, a much more efficient and economical framing technique. A great quick reference tool that is readily available on the SCAFCO website and at every branch location is the priceless header and quick jam catalog. This catalog contains great pictures, details, construction applications, product nomenclature, as well as span charts and loading information. The products of the priceless header and quick jam system include the HD and HDR headers, the KJS quick jam studs, and flush mount and saddle clips for the header to jam connection, as well as the cripple clip for the cripple stud to header connection. In the upper drawing, you can see the HD header, and in the lower drawing, you can see the HDR header, both including the proper clips for use with each system. It is very important to understand the product nomenclature for the priceless header and quick jam system, as it can be a useful quick reference tool for the product dimensions. The first three numbers in the part number for all the system components refers to the web of the member, or in other words, the nominal width of the wall. The header and clips are slightly undersized compared to this dimension in order to help create a perfectly smooth and flush finish when fi the finishing materials are applied to the wall. The next portion of the part number refers to the member itself. This includes the HD header, the HDR header, 
KJS for the quick jam studs, FM for the flush mount clips, and SE for the saddle clips. The next piece of the part number refers to the flange of the member. For the HD and HDR headers, this can be thought of as the height of the profile when installed. It is important to note that this portion of the part number for the HDR header does not take into account the track-like flanges that stick out above the header. These are for the cripple stud attachment above the opening and are not accounted for in the part number dimensions. For the quick jams and clips, this dimension can simply be thought of as the flange or leg height. The last piece of the part number is simply the mill thickness of the member. The HD header system includes the one piece HD header, the quick jam stud, the flush mount clip for header to jam connection, and either a standard piece of track or the crippler clip to receive the cripple studs. The flush mount clip is only used with the HD header, as is the crippler clip. In the bottom right drawing, you can see the crippler clip attaching the cripple studs above the opening to the HD header, as opposed to a standard track section assembly that you can see in the drawing to the left. The assembly of the HD header system is very straightforward and simplified compared to the traditional boxed or built up assemblies. First, the quick jams are installed on both sides of the opening, with the web of the members facing the inside of the opening. Once the quick jams are installed and secured, the flush mount clips are screwed through the pre-punched holes to the web of the quick jams. The final step is to simply slide the HD header into the installed flush mount clips and secure it with screws through the pre-punched holes in the clip. We will now discuss some important properties of the HD headers. The HD headers come in standard wall widths from 3.5 inches up to 8 inches. If any time a customer requests an HD header smaller or larger than these dimensions, please contact Technical at SCAFCO for assistance. The thicknesses of the HD headers include 33 EQS, 43 EQS, followed by 54, 68, and 97 mil thicknesses. No other thicknesses are available for the HD headers. The standard flanges for the HD headers are 3 inches and 3.5 inches. You can see the thicknesses that correspond to these flange sizes on the screen. This information can also be found and quickly referenced by referring to the part number nomenclature. Now we will discuss some of the uses and applications of the HD header system. The HD headers are primarily used for interior applications as the flush mount and crippler clips are designed to give the wall around the door or window opening as smooth a finish as possible. The HD header can be used in some exterior applications but is limited as it does not have great lateral or vertical load capacities as the HDR header. The HD header is primarily used in interior non-load bearing walls. It is best used in repeated openings such as those found in offices, schools, and other similar facilities. Whenever load bearing conditions are being considered, please contact Technical at SCAFCO for assistance. The HD headers are used in conjunction with the quick jam studs, and that is how the flush mount clip connection was tested and certified. Some circumstances may arise where the quick jam studs cannot be used. Please contact Technical at SCAFCO for assistance when non-typical installation is necessary. Here are some installation examples of the HD header assembled with the flush mount and crippler clip as well as in a traditional style with the track section on top of the header. Every assembly is the same for the header to jam attachment which drastically speeds up the assembly time. The headers all having the same assembly also helps the building inspectors as it is very easy to check if the members were installed correctly. As you can see in these photos, the HD header assembly creates no buildup in the width of the wall, where the drywall board will later be applied. This feature is especially important around the very tight door frames as seen in the upper right picture, as drywall needs to be wedged in between the pre-manufactured door frame and the header and jam members. We will now move on and discuss the HDR header system. This system includes the two-piece HDR header, the quick jam studs, and the saddle clip for header to jam connection. The saddle clip is only used with the HDR header. 
the insert of the HDR header allows for the system to obtain higher lateral and vertical loads. The unique insert profile seen to the lower right not only acts to increase the loads of the member, but also acts as an effective track section to receive the cripple studs. The proper installation of the HDR header can be seen in the lower left drawing. The assembly of the HDR header system is very straightforward and similar to that of the HD header assembly. First, the quick jams are installed on both sides of the opening, with the web of the members facing the inside of the opening. Once the quick jams are installed and secured, the saddle clips are screwed through the pre-punched holes to the web of the quick jams. The final step is to drop the outer portion of the HDR header into the saddle clip, followed by the inner portion. The HDR header can then be secured with screws through the pre-punched holes in the saddle clip, as well as screws connecting the inner and outer HDR pieces, as seen in the drawing on the left. We will now discuss some important properties of the HDR headers. The HDR headers come in standard wall widths from 3.5 inches up to 12 inches. If any time a customer requests an HDR header larger than these dimensions, contact Technical at SCAFCO for assistance. Smaller headers are not possible in the HDR profile as the insert would be too narrow to form properly. The thicknesses of the HDR headers include 33 EQS and 43 EQS, followed by 54, 68, 97, and 127 mil. No other thicknesses are available for the HDR headers. The flanges for the HDR headers vary due to the wall width or web dimension and the thickness of the member. Referencing the part number and its nomenclature is the best way to see what dimensional properties you are working with. Now we will discuss some of the uses and applications of the HDR header system. The HDR headers are primarily used for exterior applications as they were designed to resist the wind loads experienced on the exterior of the building. HDR headers can be used in interior applications as well, typically when the span is very long or there is a load-bearing application. HDR headers should always be checked for adequacy in whatever application they are used in. For header sizing, please contact technical at scafco.com. The HDR headers are for use in the same type of buildings as HD headers, when there are many repeated openings making the system of most value. Some examples are schools, office buildings, and hotels. Similar to the HD headers, the HDR headers are used in conjunction with the quick jam studs, and that is how the saddle clip connection was tested and certified. Some circumstances may arise when the quick jam studs cannot be used. Please contact Technical at SCAFCO for assistance when non-typical installation is necessary. Here are some infilled examples of the HDR header assembled with the saddle clip. Just like the HD header examples, every assembly is the same for the header to jam attachment, which drastically speeds up the assembly time. As you can see in these photos, the HDR header assembly creates no buildup in the width of the wall, where the drywall board will later be applied. This is true despite the fact that the saddle clip grabs the sides of the header. Since the HDR header width is slightly undersized to take into account the thickness of the clip and screw head thickness. You can also see the cripple studs attached to the top flange that stick up above the HDR header. This feature eliminates the labor needed to install an additional track section piece. The quick jam studs are the next topic of discussion in this learning session. As the sentence seen in orange states, the quick jam studs are designed to replace the typical boxed or back-to-back -back jam stud configurations as previously seen at the beginning of this session. The typical boxed or back-to-back -back require added labor and installation time due to screwing, welding, or other required attachments. In the pictures below, you can see a typical detail for the attachment of the jam to the bottom track on the left and a head of wall deflection type connection to the right. Some other connection types include floor anchors connected to the jam at the base of the wall and standard screw attachment through the track at the head of wall connection. The quick jams are wide flange studs specifically designed for the load seen at a typical door or window opening. Just like the HDR headers, the quick jams come in web widths from 3.5 inches up to 12 inches. If other web widths are desired, please contact Technical at SCAFCO before quoting. 
the quick jams are available in 33 EQS, 43 EQS, and 54, 68, 97, and 127 mil thicknesses. The 33 EQS, 43 EQS, and 54 mil thicknesses will have a 2 and 3 eighths inch flange, and the 54, 68, 97, and 127 mil thicknesses will have a 3 and 3 eighths inch flange. The 54 mil thickness profile is the only one to have options for both a 2 and 3 eighths inch and 3 and 3 eighths inch flange. The jams are used with both the HD and HDR headers in interior and exterior conditions and non-load bearing and load bearing applications. Moving on to some selling points for the priceless header and quick jam system. One of the main selling points to mention when discussing the system with customers is the ease of installation of the products. The headers arrive cut to length and ready to install, which saves a vast amount of time and labor on the job site. The tested and certified proprietary clips make the header to jam attachment very easy and even less experienced framers will have an easy time with them. The precise sizing of the header and clip also allows for a perfectly smooth and flush finish to be obtained, especially around the tight corners of the pre-manufactured door frames. The system takes away other job site hassles as well, such as welding of the header and jam members, which may require specialty labor and added time when recoating the metal. Also, the price of system eliminates cutting or coping of the flanges for the header to jam attachments, as well as extra angles or gusset plates that are bulky and add many screws to the assembly. This is a third party tested and certified system so that anyone using these materials has confidence that the system will perform to their design needs with the appropriate safety factors and standards. Speaking a little more about the priceless header and quick jam third party testing and certification. The testing was completed on all the members of the system and certifies it as a whole. The effective section properties and allowable clip capacities were determined from the testing with the appropriate safety factors applied. The report which certifies these tests and findings is the IATMO Uniform Evaluation Report ER number 0342. IATMO is a very well known certification agency similar to ICC. The report certifies the findings from the testing, includes the member's section properties and the allowable capacities for the clip connections. This certification validates the use of the priceless header and quick jam system on any and all projects. One of the last sections we will discuss regarding the priceless header and quick jams is the useful tool that we have for these products. The first useful tool is the priceless header and quick jam brochure mentioned at the beginning of this presentation. The highlights include product nomenclature, span charts, section properties, and framing details. The second tool that we have for this system is the header and jam sizing worksheet, which can be found at the back of the priceless header and quick jam catalog, as well as on the SCAFCO intranet in the Steel Stud library under header and quick jams. This tool aids in obtaining the information needed for the SCAFCO engineering department to accurately size the members for the precise opening and wall conditions. Simply have the customer fill out the sizing worksheet and forward to technical at scafco.com. One other useful tool is the Priceless Header and Quick Jam YouTube video. The video depicts the side by side installation of a typical welded box beam header and a Priceless Header and Quick Jam assembly. This is a time lapse video of the installation of both composite assemblies and clearly shows how the Priceless system will save the user time and money on their project. The last useful tool that we will discuss is the Branch Specialty Product Price List. This tool is located on the SCAFCO intranet under the Sales Information tab. The Branch Specialty Product Price List is an Excel document with tabs that go to pricing information for the HD headers, under 14 foot HDR headers, over 14 foot HDR headers, and the Quick Jam studs. For any questions regarding this tool or additional pricing information, please contact the estimating department at SCAFCO. The SCAFCO Engineering and Technical Department offers complimentary value engineering services when using or designing with SCAFCO products. For the priceless headers and quick gems, this includes running the calculations and sizing out the proper members based on the infield conditions or information provided in the sizing worksheet discussed in the useful tools section, creating a replacement schedule or comparison sheet for the priceless headers and quick jams based upon the section properties of the box or built up members called out in the building plans. 
aiding in the substitution process in order to get proprietary Scafco products on the job, including completing the substitution paperwork for the customer and RFI assistance. Creating custom manufacturer or engineering judgment letters based on unique conditions encountered in design or in the field. And finally, troubleshooting issues that arise on site or in the design phase in order to find the most economical and efficient solution possible. The last detail of the prices header and quick jam system that we will discuss is an important note on the ordering process for the members. For the HD and HDR headers themselves, it is important to verify the rough opening dimension and header length with the customer. It is the duty of the operations staff that is entering the order to subtract 3 eighths of an inch from the rough opening length of the header in order to account for the thickness of the flush mount or saddle clip. This process is detailed in the QC manual located on the SCAFCO intranet site. Please review this before placing any and all orders. This concludes the priceless header and quick jam information and learning session. Thank you for your time and participation in taking this program. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments regarding this session, please contact technical at scafco.com directly. Your input is greatly appreciated. Please review the brochure and other reference materials and proceed to take the follow-up quiz.